Hello everybody, Radico here once again with another Jurassic World video. This video is a bit different to the usual. I didn't want to record just a normal episode, I want to record more of a how-to guide. I'll be doing a few of these over the upcoming weeks. Um, in these how-to guides, I'm going to tell you how to get the resources you need to get the thingies you want, like this. Like this big flying, look at it, thing. Um, yeah, basically, this today's guide is actually the guide on getting... Lots of dollar, 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 and lots of food. Okay, let's get started. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do, step one, is show you all the best things you need to do when you're lower level. Lower level is nothing. Just play the game as you would. Play the missions, have fun, do what you want to do. The first 15 or so levels, you don't need to farm. When you do come to the penultimate, sort of 15, level 16, and you're considering farming, what you should farm is if you're like spending an hour, two hours at a time on the game non-stop just farming, then you want the ACU towers because they get about 1,200 an hour if you use them to have max potential each tower. So you've got 150, you're looking at 180,000, which is a lot more than getting 150 of these. However, if you're like me and you have work or if you have school or if you have college or whatever, and you're just going to pop on every now and then, but you're going to pop on over an hour, it's so much more efficient to get the power generators, because otherwise you're going to pop on, you can only have a hundred for each of them, which is a seventh of what you'll be logging into with the power generators. And the great thing with the power generators, they are only one block big. That's another reason why I would not recommend any of these ones, even if it's just a two hour one, the Triple Crown Hotel is taking up four spaces, okay? So you could get easy four, I think it's four, let's just confirm. Yeah, four spaces, okay? So... Even if it was only for an hour's work, you're still getting, or two hours, even if you left it for two hours, you're still getting, what, about 15, 60, about 3,000 over 1,400, which is just not worth it. So, it's so much more efficient to have the power generators. That's why I have at least 150 myself. Um, you get so many of them free as well, so just freebies at lower level are your saviour. I've got a few triple, triple crown hotels, as you can see. I've got quite a few security officers. I've sold a lot of them now, but lower level, you're going to look at farming. Not so much till you're about 16 or 17, but I really do recommend investing in farming. Okay, your dinosaurs itself themselves are not a massive income when it comes to it. I'm um, oh, sorry, they are a massive income when it comes to it. But they don't quite compare when it comes to farming. However, the higher level you get, you'll notice the more... And more and more that dinosaurs yield a lot more. For example, Indominus Rex, from what I'm aware, yields, I think, about 300,000, if not a million. I can't... Is it, uh, it yields a lot of money, essentially. If you have a look at it here... Oh, wrong one. We go to hybrids quickly. We'll just quickly have a look at the stats if it lets me see them. There we go. In 12 hours, that is 338,688 coins. So you're looking at about just nearly three quarters of a million. Well, 700, about 700,000 or so. When you've... Uh, where in 24 hours, as long as you redeem it at the right time, of course, and that's without bonuses, okay? Uh, with these, we're looking at, what, 150 or so. We could probably get the same amount with my farm, but the Indominus is a lot less space, so on and so forth, so technically speaking, your buildings are a necessity when it comes to the fact that DNA is not very easy to obtain, which we'll go into in another video as to how I get my DNA and how efficient it is, which it is incredibly efficient. What you would need to do, though, is you need to make sure that you constantly use your farm. I occasionally don't, but when I need money for food, which I've already bought loads of, as you can see there, um, just keep, like, plundering it, keep going for your dinosaurs, just keep going for everything, and it's just fantastic, okay? But the main, main, main income is to farm, okay? I don't think I can stress that enough. I've gone over it myself. I'm, I'm not going to bore you all guys with all the stats and stuff like that, but numbers-wise... Uh, activity wise for me it may be different for you guys if you're less active or more active you might be going for the other buildings the most efficient and I can prove that with my math here is the power generator the ACU security tower we've already gone over the fact you need to be far too more active trap triple crown hotel just doesn't cut it you've not got enough pterosaur and Cin cineplex makes sense if and only if you are um, well not on for like every three hours or so Heliports, all this sort of thing are just not worth it. Even if you go down to the far end, the Ferris wheel. I believe that's in 24 hours. That might be good to have one or two of just to have a little boost every day, but otherwise, you're not going to be getting much money because, like, over time, they're going to be getting less per minute. So the the more expensive the building, they actually earn less in the short period, which is quite a shock, but that's what they've done that so that it spreads out. Essentially, if you could have something that earns at the pace of the ACU security office, 
but like not having a limit you'd, you'd make loads of money but it doesn't work that unfortunately so for my how to video today all I need to recommend now that we're coming to the end of it is buy power generators they are at the end of the day the lifeblood of what has you know, got me my funds and those funds in turn have got me lots of food okay and that is how I've got what 11 million 500 of food without having to rely on packs or without having to you know cheat hack anything like that I've just got all this money all that way I've you know expanded to get XP I've taken more money I've upgraded the actual thing to max and some people don't like upgrading it to max because you don't get it in quick enough so on and so forth I recommend it updating it to my upgrading it to max because I go away for a couple of hours and then going to um well do a do a shift essentially at work and it's just great to just come off break click collect and then resend it through I recommend never ever going on to um, this and then clicking activate once for 240,000 and then activate again free three clicks you may as well just wait the four hours unless of course you're going to bed in which case activate it twice but you should never activate it more than that because you're just going to be spending more money essentially you could just save yourself it by just going every four hours and it'll be more than um, efficient and sufficient should I say so yeah I hope this guy's helped you today, guys. If oh, we've got a power generator in, uh, in the middle of nowhere. If you, for whatever reason, have a different theory, if you have a different way about going, uh, how you go about this, feel free to drop a comment down below telling me you're wrong, Corey, or you're wrong, Vertica, or this is what I do differently. I prefer the last one, but if you want to tell me I'm wrong, I'm open for advice. Um, yeah, so if you have any other questions about, of course, earning coins or earning food on this game, I'm more than willing to answer those, and I will also be putting up a video on how to earn DNA. And I must stress it is a bit of a long-winded procedure so that one will be I would like to say it will be subjective to how much effort you put into it is how much you're going to get out essentially and of course it's based on luck as well I should say but yeah okay guys if you enjoyed the video and you found this helpful in the, in the slightest make sure you drop a like down below if you've enjoyed the video also make sure that you subscribe to me if you haven't already because I really appreciate that and if you haven't for whatever reason, enjoyed the video, feel free to dislike, but tell me why. I always take the feedback and I always do appreciate it. I understand this video might seem a bit grabby or attention grabby, but I really do think this is going to be helpful for you guys because I found it helpful myself. I spent like half an hour working everything out thinking, hmm, I wonder which is best. And power generator, funnily enough. And for food and coins, you can't really go wrong. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'm level 37 now. I've got loads of stats, so I'm happy with that. So, <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day and ta -ra! Oh.